we got to talk about one of our good friends who has been yes. on the show, Kevin Blankenship. Mm -hmm. You may remember him by his pancake art that he came and debuted here on Oklahoma Live. He did some incredible pancake art. He can make anything, and in fact, he did our faces. Yeah. He made an Abby pancake and a Drew pancake. Look at that. Well, congrats to him because, look, he's featured on Esquire Magazine's website today. Yeah. And his pancake art is right there on the front page. You can see some of the great stuff he's done. Mr. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle, of course. Uh, you've got the Rolling Stones lips, uh -huh. which is always very, very cool. Uh, a nice little doggy with the bone. No. Oh, I could eat that doggy right up. And then, of course, <laughs> Mickey Mouse with a dumbfounded, scared, just shocked look on his face. Nice. It's because he's a pancake and he's yeah. going to be eaten. Oh, but that is so cool because, I mean, we were yeah. just blown away by his stuff when he came in a couple months ago. And now he's getting nationwide fame. So, congrats to him. Yeah, he was a cartoonist uh, mm -hmm. before. And then he had kids and was like, hey, you know, it's really cool is making pancakes. Um, in really cool shapes. I yeah. mean, like, they're almost like too amazing to eat. You know what I mean? And, and look, our faces yeah. I loved. I mean, we got a lot of Twitter followers and everything from our yeah. face pancakes. Yeah, uh, I never funny. did eat mine. I actually had mine in the car for a while. Oh. I brought it into the house, and I'm not really sure where it went. I think the huh. dog may have eaten it. Oh, very nice. <laughs> very nice. The, Drew ate Drew, the dog ate Drew's face. The, Drew ate Drew's the face. dog ate my face. Yeah. That's right. Nice. I was going to frame it, but you know, what do you do with pancake art? I don't know. I think it could have gotten kind of smelly. Yeah, probably. But yeah. that's so cool. And he was so talented, and we were blown away by how quickly he could do it yeah. there in our kitchen. And now he's on Esquire magazine. Yeah, that's pretty exciting. Yeah. So congrats to Kevin. And you know, thunder season. I know it's over and everything, but it's never too early to get a nice pair of thunder shoes yes. for the next season. Uh, you know, Vanity Perkins, when she guest co-hosted with me, she had these like rocking thunder blue platform mm, shoes. Yeah, they're very popular now. Yes, they're also very expensive. Expensive, by the way, <laughs> All, very expensive. But I'm blown away by the price. I know there's a new pair out. These are Manolo Blahniks. Take a look at them at Ballyette Sierra. Look at that heel. Now, you'll if they look familiar to you, ladies, they are were featured in Sex in the City. They were Carrie's shoes in the movie Sex in the City. We have another picture of it. Is that that bright blue? It's gorgeous. Okay, nine hundred sixty-five dollars. Nine hundred sixty-five bucks. Yeah. Are you serious? Yes. That is a mortgage payment. Yes. That's three car payments. Yes. That is like five trips to Walmart, stocking up for groceries for yeah. a month. And people pay that for shoes? Apparently so. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Or Vanity Perkins pays it for shoes. Oh, yeah, no, Vanity can pay that for shoes. I can't pay that for shoes. That but, yeah. just blows me away that people actually buy shoes that are almost $1,000. I know. But, I mean, they were so popular, like I said, in the movie Sex in the City, and they're finally hitting stores and stuff. And, um, you know, hey, if you're looking for some shoes to rock during a Thunder game <laughs> and want to risk, I mean, look at that stiletto. I would like. Fear of falling down a flight of stairs. They should walk for you. I mean, for a thousand bucks, they should walk they, they for should you. They should walk for you. They yeah. should fly. You should be able to glide like Superman in those things. I yeah. can't remember what I paid a thousand dollars for. That yeah. wasn't a car or a house. I know. I was I was really excited <laughs> to show you these shoes because I knew you'd go crazy with the price. The black and nude color ones are cheaper though, at a like five ninety five. Yeah. Well, if anybody wants to pool all of our money together and get you a pair for hey, your wedding, maybe we can do that. I'm I'm down with that. Yeah. Oh my gosh, my, my wedding, I would totally fall on my face. Maybe between my two jobs, I can get a pool big enough between to get your, you a thousand dollars. Between your two shoes. jobs, that's awesome. <laughs> well, that's Miss USA has gotten a lot of uh, talk recently. Yes. Not only Miss USA, but the uh, runners up as well. Yeah. But Nia Sanchez is her name. She represents mm -hmm. Nevada. Right. And she was on a talk show, the Todd Show, a radio show in New York. They wanted to know if Nia knew the capital of the state that she represents Nevada. Mm -hmm. Here's what she said. Let's do a quiz. What's the capital of Nevada? Oh, uh, uh, <laughs> um, oh my gosh. <laughs> no, no, Carson City. Thank you. I was yeah. going to yeah. say that. I was like that one um, <laughs> DJ host that on MTV back in the day, his name. I, uh, that's how I always remembered it. Carson Daly. Yeah. Uh, Carson Daly, that guy. She's Miss Nevada. 
She's she Miss USA. No, she's Miss yeah. USA, but Miss Nevada first does not know the capital of Nevada. That's crazy. Isn't that nuts? So then the controversy goes on. Yeah. Because a lot of people have been wondering how the heck was she Miss Nevada? She tried. She was born in California. She tried to be Miss California 2010, 11, and 12. Oh my gosh. Then she gave up and moved to Nevada, took 13 off, and then she was Miss Nevada in 2014. So that's why she doesn't know the capital. Yeah. It's because she was in California. California for so long, and she thought, hey, I'll move to Nevada. I'll never need to answer questions that, you know, fifth graders know. So, <laughs> sorry. When you're a radio host, you just you just can't wait for stuff like that. Oh to my happen. gosh. That's you're like, hilarious. oh, Miss USA is here. Let's ask her something Let's really easy. Let's see how dumb she really is. <laughs> and pray that she gets yeah, it wrong. That's hilarious. I can name, you know, I can name all 50 um, state capitals. Can you really? I can't. Well, you me want some. to do that quiz right now? Yeah, give me some. Okay, what's Nevada? Carson City. <laughs> what is uh, Massachusetts? Uh, uh, oh, dang it, it's not Boston, <laughs> it's that other one. Um, uh, okay, uh -huh. we're going to have to What's Illinois? One more. Illinois. Um, Springfield. Yes, hey, there you go. Good job. See, I'm not so good at the Northeast. <laughs> you still did better than I thought. Yeah. Nice Thanks. work. Wait, isn't it? Is it not? Is it Boston or is it something else? I don't have any idea. <laughs> I, did, I wasn't the one who said I could. It's been a long time since I took that. History or that that American test to get through eighth grade, you know? Nice. Yeah, don't Arkansas, worry. Arkansas, Little Rock, Texas, Austin. <laughs> I'm not pretending. You're the one <laughs> taking the quiz. <laughs> <laughs> so Father's Day, of course, was this weekend, and yeah. there's this great new video that has popped up, and it's all over Facebook the last couple of days. Mm -hmm. Ashton Kutcher actually tweeted it out yesterday. Quite a few other people. So we thought we'd feature it because hey, it's for dads and it's yeah. really cute. It's uh, four dads who've got together. They've created the Dad song. It's a rap. So yeah, right. it's pretty talented. Take a look. Gas station glasses. Don't care what the masses think about me with my sweet goatee. I'm rocking my Dockers with a cuff and a crease. I got that St. John's Bay and the clip for my piece. I look nice. I got dozens of dollars and that's right. It goes straight to my daughters and my wife. I'm a miracle dad, making magic with the checkbook is the talent I have. I roll hard in the yard with a 60 inch cut. Zero turn radius, my neighbors say, what? They be driving by, peeping my landscape. Yo, these greens got nothing on my manscape. Hydrangea, what? begonia. <laughs> I love yeah. these guys. Love these guys. This song That's has so been funny. in my head the last two days now. Gas station glasses. Yeah, I know. That's so funny. It's so with, sad. Every, they're all like <laughs> typical dad. I mean, like every one of them, you're like, yep, he's a dad. Every dad watching is like, yep, yep, that's pretty much my life. Yep. Khaki pants, gas station glasses, trying to balance the checkbook. All the money goes to my kids and my wife. Nice. That's awesome. It rings that's very, so very funny. true. Isn't that great? Right. I got hilarious. my gas station glasses going. I always rock those things. Really? You have oh, gas yeah. station glasses? I'm, you think I'm paying more than $6 for a pair of sunglasses? <laughs> okay, right. yeah. I'll lose them in two days anyway. Oh, my gosh. Of course, they'll get broken. That's too funny. <laughs> that made me happy. Okay, good. Well, we got a special gift. Um, it happened yesterday. The Children's Center changed their name and logo actually today after 30 years. And in honor of that change, uh, yesterday we were presented with baby caterpillars from representatives of the Children's Center. In Bethany. Such a great place. Now, we'll watch these guys grow into butterflies, of course, over the next few weeks. And in honor of the Children's Center and all the great work that they do there, every time we watch those caterpillars turn into a butterfly, we'll think of them and yeah. all the great things they do for children who need help. So. Yeah, it'll be fantastic. Yeah, thanks so. for dropping those off, guys. We yeah, appreciate it. We always love gifts here. It's going to be fun. We have yeah. we have pets now. We have pet we caterpillars. Have, we have Oklahoma Live mascots. That's it's about right. Time. The caterpillars are mascots. Yeah. That's kind of lame. Well, well, you know, that's what we've got going. Maybe when they turn into the butterfly, it'll be nice. It's it's our it's our test mascot. If we can keep those alive, then maybe we can get something like a dog. Like a dog. Yeah. Okay, that first, sounds first good. First, we've got to do a test with the caterpillars. All right, we'll see if we can keep these caterpillars alive. <laughs>